Well, some people live truly extraordinary lives, and retired U.S. Air Force pilot Major Brian Shul is one of them. Shot down and burned half to death over Cambodia, he worked his way back to the top of his game, eventually flying the most extreme aircraft ever built and he's gearing up for an inspirational event tonight right here in Fargo. We also have Jackie Williams with the Fargo Air Museum here joining us. Uh, so, Brian, that's just like a little piece of your story. First, I want to say thank you for your service. Thank you for visiting with us today. Tell well, us a little bit me. more about uh, your journey. Well, um, I start off my talks uh, by telling people I'm the luckiest guy alive, and I, I really am. Um, I should have probably been dead 100 times over my experience uh, there's a story from laying near dead in the jungles of Vietnam to flying the world's fastest jet. And uh, what I've done in the last uh, 25 years is I go around the country and I share my story with people. Uh, but I also have a very rare collection of uh, aviation slides. Having flown the world's fastest jet, um, it makes for an interesting and uplifting uh, story that uh, educates, entertains, and uh, is uh, inspirational. So I've been very fortunate to, to go to many places around the country to get to share my story. Uh, happy to be here in Fargo. I was very excited when uh, Jackie called me about the Fargo Air Museum uh, Vietnam Week uh, you're having up here. Uh, so she asked if I would come and do my presentation uh, and uh, was uh, luckily had an opening in my schedule and was happy to, to come. Uh, I, I have had an extraordinary career, not that uh, I'm saying I, I take credit for it, but just that I'm in awe of the fact that I survived all the things I did, and then got to fly uh, the premier spy plane of all time. And now I get to talk about it uh, <clears throat> and share and keep the history of the jet uh, alive in that way. So um, the show tonight, uh, like I say, it educates, inspires, and uh, it's fun to have video and slides. And I kind of use the jet as a vehicle to tell a broader story about overcoming obstacles and perspective in life and making choices and everything. So um, I'm looking forward to tonight's uh, audience. It's a great little uh, museum you have here in Fargo, and I was thrilled to be asked to come. And Jackie, maybe you could just tell us the details <clears throat> what's happening tonight. Can people still get tickets? Yes, tickets are available at FargoAirMuseum.org or come on into the museum. We're on 19th Avenue right across from the dome. Tickets are $30 at the door. If you buy them online, they're uh, less expensive depending on whether you're military, student, whatever the case may be. Uh, this is a fundraiser for the Fargo Air Museum. We are a nonprofit. We are the host for Vietnam Week. We don't charge any of the vets to come into the museum. So this is a way for us to offset costs. And I had the opportunity to see this presentation uh, a couple months back, was very inspired by it. You don't have to love airplanes or be a military buff to hear this story and get a new perspective on life. And Brian, we were talking in the break, you have four books already published and you're working on a fifth? <clears throat> well, I am. I've, uh, I was fortunate enough to get to fly with both the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds. I did books on uh, both teams, but I've written two books about flying uh, the SR-71, uh, all illustrated with my own photography. So they are very unique uh, books in that regard. They're not overly technical books. They're more of a personal memoir and more uh, to answer the question to that fan out there that always said, what was it like to do that? Uh, as opposed, they don't want to know how to build the jet, but they want to know what it did feel like. And uh, so uh, uh, I, we will be doing a book signing after the uh, presentation tonight, and I'll be selling these books at a very reduced uh, price uh, because they are quite expensive. We only print a very few uh, each year. They're large uh, coffee table sized books. So if you go on the internet, uh, you see my sled driver. A book for four or five hundred dollars. Uh, we'll we'll be selling them for for two hundred thirty dollars tonight. So um, it's a great signed. great opportunity. Yeah, well, signed by the author himself. Uh, so it's a great opportunity. Awesome. So what would you say to those who are coming out tonight to come and see you? What do you hope they take away? Well, uh, that's a good question. Uh, bring the family. It's for young people, old people alike. Uh, if you want to be entertained, educated a little bit, and inspired. Uh, I try to do all three in my talks and uh, with a very uh, graphically uh, pleasing uh, show, some video and sound. It's a fun show. Uh, it's G-rated, uh, uh, but it's an uh, interesting and unique one-of-a-kind story.
My dad is also a Vietnam vet, and it, I really find it, obviously, so that Vietnam vets are close to my heart, but it's really great that you're here to celebrate Vietnam Veterans Week as well, because yeah. Vietnam vets didn't always get the thank yous and the celebratory parades. So are you happy that you're able to continue that? And Absolutely, and uh, I was thrilled. You can thank Jackie really for putting all this together, and I, I admire the work they've done there at the museum because it's, a, it's not an easy job to to do those things, so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, anytime I can share my story or share the story of the JET uh, with people, uh, I'm happy to do it. And, and like I say, it's been so well received. I'm, I'm, I'm so busy, I have a busier schedule than I would like sometimes, but uh, I get to go to a lot of wonderful places, and here I am in Fargo. <laughs> Good problem to have. So once again, uh, just tell us maybe, uh, Jackie, the time, the place, and how much. This evening, 5.30, Fargo Air Museum. Tickets are $30 at the door, fargoairmuseum.org. You can purchase tickets online or stop on in. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your service, and good luck tonight, and thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. We'll be right back. <laughs>